Alright guys, in this video we're going to be talking about evaluating variable expressions. Now just to recap, we know that expressions do not have an equal sign, whereas equations do have an equal sign. So in this particular case we're going to be dealing with expressions, okay, and they want us to evaluate when we're given the value of a variable. Okay, so in this case we know that x equals 3, and we have the following expression below. So in order to do this, we're simply just going to plug in a 3 wherever we see an x, in this case right here. So we're going to go ahead and rewrite this, and we're going to have the following. We're going to have 2, and then again, wherever we see an x, we're plugging in a 3. So we have 3 minus 5 plus 2 right, times 2. Okay, at this point, you just want to go ahead and follow your order of operations. Right, so PEMDAS, so we're gonna go ahead and use parentheses first here, right? So I'm gonna work my parentheses here. So I have three minus five, that's gonna give me a negative two. So just rewriting, I have two times a negative two plus two times two, right? So now I can just simply work left to right because I have multiplication here and here, right? So two times a negative two is gonna give me negative four right, plus two times two, which is going to give you four, right, so a negative four and a positive four, that's simply going to give you zero. All right, so zero is gonna be our final value here. Okay, so let's try another example. Okay, so here is our next example. So again, wherever we see an x in this expression, we're gonna go ahead and plug in a three. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna have two minus three, this will all be over four, plus five times two, right? So just going ahead and working what we have inside the parentheses, we have two minus three, well that's gonna give us negative one. So we simply have here now negative one over four, plus five times two, which is gonna give you 10. All right, so we wanna go ahead and combine these two terms here, so we have a fraction. So an easy way to do this, let's simply rewrite this. We have negative one over four, right, plus 10, which we know is really over one. So plus 10, right, over one. And an easy way to do this, right, we need to get a common denominator. And in order to do that, you're simply just going to multiply the denominators. So four times one is going to give you four. And then you say to yourself, what did you multiply this by in order to get four? Well, you multiply by one. So one times a negative one is negative one. And you do the same thing here, right? So what did I multiply this by in order to get four? I multiplied by four. So four times 10 is gonna give you 40. All right, and then just simplifying our numerator here, we're gonna get the following, we get 39 all over four. Okay, and we can go ahead and just leave this as an improper fraction, right? This right here is gonna be our final value of the expression. Okay, let's try one more example. All right, guys, so here is our next example. This will be the last one. So again, we have an expression. Wherever we see an x, we're gonna go ahead and plug in a three. So let's just go ahead and rewrite this. We'll have five minus three, all in parentheses, and then cubed plus 16 over, again, we're gonna plug in a three. So we have three minus one, and this is gonna be squared. Okay, so let's go ahead and just do our order of operations. We wanna work what we have inside the parentheses first. So again, we have parentheses here and here. So let's go ahead and just take care of those operations. So five minus three is gonna give you two. So just rewriting this, we're gonna have two cubed, right, plus 16 all over. Again, let's work what we have inside the parentheses here. Three minus one is gonna give you two. So we have two squared, all right? And now we wanna go ahead and take care of our exponents. So two cubed is going to give you eight, plus, right, 16 
all over, 2 squared, which is going to give you 4. All right, now we want to go ahead and take care of our division here. So 16 divided by 4 is going to give you 4. So we have 8 plus 4 now. So the value of this expression is going to be 12. All right, and that is evaluating variable expressions.